Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today back for another episode of the Prisons Default series here on royal.oplegends.com of course if you guys want to come check out the server the server is bedrock and java compatible but i do ask that you guys use my custom ip if you guys do want to support me in any way because using that custom ip will directly support me in the channel so obviously i greatly appreciate that but anyways guys um i'm not gonna lie we have been absolutely slacking this season not because i'm a default just because i have a lot of stuff going on but yes this season we are playing without a rank and spending no credits no amount of money at all the only way we can get a rank is through like free to play methods which we're about to test our luck with that right now in this intro and then credits obviously if we farm up some beacons we can sell them towards the end of the week whenever all of the top sales are buying beacons for credits that way they can place on g top now i could also still build a gang but like i said bro i am playing super chill this map i i can't go comp so if you guys want to join my gang just please be playing casual, okay? Because I will not be playing competitively. Not this map, okay? Next map, I think I actually do want to go competitive because it's been a little minute since I've actually, like, had a real sell and try to place on, like, G-Top. But anyways, guys, for right now, we've done a little bit of mining off camera. Really not anything crazy since the last episode. But if I look at these relics, we have these legendary relics right here that we can go ahead and claim. And I'm working on these mythic relics. I actually have no clue why I put this mythic relic in the incubator because this mythic relic it takes like 120,000 raw blocks and this one right here the rewards are cheeks but we'll open it we got two ultra robots i mean let's open this up we did get a blue oh my god oh my god no nah, it's cracked my i'll never disrespect that relic ever again in my entire life guys we literally oh no this is insane we are going to print in start of the world loot boxes for free i'm logging on my alt immediately so i am currently logging my all on right now guys we just got this right here free start of the world loot boxes on here no money spent literally got this from a relic and then pulled it from the ultra robot box that's insane luck i can't lie to you I, that was the last thing i was expecting to win but i am super super happy we got that i'm gonna put this on an alt account and we're gonna okay yeah, bro, what is going on with my frames for a second right there? It's because my alt account is loading in. So bang, we are on the alt account currently and I already traded it over mailbox. Give me this and we are going to claim it, guys. And that goes into your slash robots right here. So whenever you have robots, you go to slash AFK and you just start AFK. And if we do slash robots again, now we are going to be generating start of the world loot boxes. I mean, it's only one every day. But I will 100% take that. So bang, just like that, we are back on the main account. The alt is going to be AFK 24-7. And Slash Relic again, bro. I got completely distracted. But right here, this Mythic Relic actually has a super small percentage chance to give you a Neptune seasonal rank. Guys, Neptune is the top, top rank on the server besides Legend. But Legend is only purchasable during Christmas of like every year. So it's not around for long. Neptune is the highest prisons rank. Speaking of that, oh my god, bro. I have to mention a giveaway in today's episode. But right here, Legendary Relic. We can get the Apollo seasonal rank. We got Ultra Pet Boxes instead. This one hoping for a tier 4 we got relic keys so we got absolutely rinsed bro we are getting a rank up in today's episode i don't care i'm only putting relics in there that like have a chance of getting a better rank here demigod isn't the greatest but it is a rank increase oh this is actually aries let's get this one in throw aries in there and then we'll throw that do we have any others in here oh there's another aries right here and this is just a rare one as well that's way easier than those epics and bang i think that's kind of all of them for right now we're pulling a rank all right every single season dude i swear i win so many ranks from relics but the one season that i actually need them i for some reason can't pull them we're going to be grinding until i pull one all right i don't even care but anyways yeah this is what our pickaxe is looking like listen it's terrible but we're gonna be doing some grinding in today's episode we're about to make massive massive upgrades to the pickaxe another thing i haven't checked out all season is slash xp shop i'm pretty sure crates go in here from time to time as well in the exclusive roles the exclusive roles resets every 12 hours and sometimes they put crates that are actually purchasable from the store on here for free as long as you're free to play so yeah that's gonna be really nice we should probably start trying to save up some xp we're obviously not gonna be able to buy any xp because my rank is in the gutters because we have been slacking but maybe we get it up there throughout the season anyways for right now slash mine list let's try and find a mine that doesn't have too many players like this one only has three this one has two. Oh, this one has one but that's because it's level 40 no thank you we're gonna go to this one with two players and uh yeah we're gonna be mining here honestly it's kind of late at night so maybe 
by some odd chance these guys actually log off and I'll have their entire mind to myself. That would be great. Anyways, guys, we're going to take a cut. We are going to be getting some grinding done. We have to run through our slash relics and get a ton of blocks on these. I, I really want to get this Neptune seasonal rank, bro. If we pull that from this mythic relic, I am going to jump out of my gaming chair, bro. But yeah, we still have to upgrade our pickaxe anyway. So I literally just need to mine and that's basically it. So I'm going to take a cut right here. I will see you guys in one second after we do a couple hours of mining. All right, guys, we are back and we've been mining for like maybe a little bit over an hour. But if we do slash relic, do we have? Okay, so we can open up this one. This one doesn't have a rank, guys, but look at the possible rewards. First of all, two more ultra robot boxes. If we pull another start of the world um, robot, I'm going to freak out. But 10 tier four modifier boxes is really what we're going for. If we win that, bro, we are so completely set. But let's try this. Again, no demigod rank. This one doesn't have a rank. This one, possible Ares rank right here. And, okay, I think we got a tier 3 modifier box, unfortunately. Um, this one has a Hermes in there. We'll throw that. And then this is the last one that we can unlock right now. Possible 10 tier 4 modifier boxes right here. 3, 2, 1, boom. And we got one. We got the one. And it's a freaking beacon modifier yeah that was terrible well that was unfortunate but we're gonna go ahead add uh some more relics in there but i do have another update for this clip let's actually claim all of these mine keys real quick you guys should already know by now every time i claim keys i lag but um let's slash crates we're gonna open up these mine keys because i want to get as many orbs as possible right now we have 165 million that only got us to 167 million so it really wasn't anything at all oh but wait hold on let me open up this tier three and it's another beacon modifier bro are you kidding me but we have 167 million orbs which to me is a ton right now but i have been saving orbs for quite a while so that way we can max out our speed right here. are you kidding me? eight 182 mil Bro, I need 20 million more orbs. I could have sworn it was 157 million. Okay, hold on. Let's open up these 24 relics. Um, yeah, that only got us 168 million. Please carry me relics. Oh, oh my god, it was even worse than the uh than the loots and then the party crankies. Okay, yeah. We're gonna have to go back to mining. That's my bad. I thought we actually did have enough to max out speed because you guys know if you've been watching the prison series for quite some time, as soon as I max out speed, guys. I can fully start grinding because I don't have to fly in the mine like this, bro. Just up and down, up and down. I can just sit at the top and grind. By the way, I just TP'd over to Jewelfish's mine, bro. Jewelfish's mine is currently level 70 one wait where, where'd it go oh it's because there's three in here now boom 71 that's insane i'm literally in jewelfish's mind bro this is uh insane work out of me but not only that whenever you unlock speed and max it out guys you do unlock the gold rush enchant and i just personally feel like whenever i unlock that gold rush enchant my progress starts to fly also we are currently working on a gang challenge where we just have to proc our dragon burst i don't know what we're at but if we take a look i mean we only need about 200 more dragon burst procs and then we will complete this gang challenge Challenge and we'll have a hundred gank points not sure if we're gonna be able to buy anything with those gank points we're gonna check after we complete this challenge but if we can buy a booster bro an orb boost right now would go crazy but i promise you after we get this in chat guys we're really gonna start flying through progress and we're gonna become overpowered as a default i promise dude it's just i slacked in the beginning so we fell a little bit far behind plus we didn't have any start of the world crates so that was a little tough but it's still nothing you can't come back from but surprisingly bro i still have not won a rank i don't know what's good with my luck i'm not stopping this episode till we win a rank okay and just like that praise god bro we should have enough to max out our speed now just got to 190 million orbs for safety measures now max out speed oh my god bro now you guys can see we can run along the tops like this and not be super inefficient mining the other way i was just mining is still more efficient than this i believe but dude this is just so much more afk brain and now i can actually watch netflix and pay attention to a show instead of like holding shift going up and down this is a thousand percent easier and we should have also unlocked gold rush right here boom get 130 levels of that right away and whenever gold rush actually procs we get so many more orbs if we can get a dragon burst proc on the gold layer so boom gold layer right there i think that was our dragon burst it's kind of hard to tell because i know there's some other people in this mine but now guys we are good to straight grind afk brain throw on some netflix bro watch a movie or something and fly through progression but you guys know what we're still hunting here slash relic i'll bring you guys back in thirty-two thousand raw blocks which shouldn't be that far and we have a possible chance to get the top top rank on the entire server
All right, we are back and we have just completed the relic, I believe, and we completed our gang challenge as well, guys. If we can get this orbs booster from like the gang shop, that is going to be absolutely massive. I still haven't checked, but let's go ahead slash gang. We are going to claim our challenge. We will get another one in about 10 hours and slash gang. Where is gang shop? Gang shop is right here. Shop perks. Oh my God. We can purchase a 4x orbs multiplier usually that's probably not the smartest decision because you want to go for like goal slot number two but i need orbs bro and i need orbs bad so we went ahead and went with that now is it slash g boost boom activate our orb it says uncraftable potion but it says currently active if we do slash boosters real quick and look at our orbs or is it slash multi it's slash multi my bad you guys can see it it's right there at the bottom we're getting a 3x orb multi from our pet a 4x from our gang boost a 2x because i have a 2x a booster pop and then the rest is just kind of whatever our rank bonus is a 0.1x we have got to get rid of this mortal rank asap bro because it's actually hurting our orb production i believe so let's slash relic and test our luck um oh wait 64 more blocks are you serious okay surely that was enough bang we have it done do we have any others we can get aries right here bang we got aries oh my god we at least got one rank thank god now i can open up this one sweat free but if we can pull apollo or neptune that would be even better bang what did we get i didn't even see oh my god we pulled neptune rank yo no way did we just pull literally the top top rank dude we were getting rinsed on every single other relic but i guess we were saving all of our luck for the top top rank neptune dude just like that see guys this is what i mean the server is not pay to win in the slightest obviously you know if you spend some credits if you support the server clearly you're gonna get something in return that's just how it has to be it's how servers stay up and how they run but op legends has so many different ways to get the quote-unquote pay to win items pay to win ranks for absolutely free that was completely nuts dude no way did we just get that now slash kits we are all the way up to neptune which again is the highest rank you can buy right now because you cannot buy legend kit right now it's only available during christmas but wow that was huge and now we're starting to make a decent amount of orbs our dragon burst is already up to 3.5k and if we look at our rank bonus on our orb multis now it is at a 0.6 where we were just at a 0.1x so we're going to be making more orbs as well what a w bro we should start flying through orbs because we have so many boosters going now we have this booster we have our pet right here and we have the gang boosts now the top rank boost as well this is gonna get crazy so guys i believe i'm gonna take a cut right here i can now stop going for these um relics with like ranks in them because we have the top rank we are not gonna need anything else and we pulled an extra aries as well i don't even know what to do with that aries if i'm gonna be honest but yeah for right now i'm gonna take a cut we're gonna do a couple hours of mining off camera and absolutely spam upgrade our pickaxe our pickaxe should look a whole lot different in the next clip all right way better it's not gonna be maxed out but it should look way better all right guys we are back and we have actually been mining for a pretty long time if i do say so myself it's been a couple hours we are now at 770,000 raw blocks i think we started this episode with like 400,000. i could be wrong though i don't really know but anyways we are back online and uh, i did say in the last episode that a little goal of mine was going to be to get a higher rank than jewelfish guys jewelfish is boosted to the moon all right he got boosted a ton he's at rank like 80k so unfortunately i'm not sure if we're gonna be able to pass him but there's still a ton of season left so maybe we will and i just barely got a good pickaxe and it's not even like good yet at least not for money but if we take a look at the progress bang dragon burst 10,000, orb greed 5,000. those are the two most important enchants whenever you are talking orbs so we have completely maxed those out and we went ahead upgraded a little bit of scavenger and now our efficiency and fortune is maxed and if you guys don't know whenever you max out fortune and whenever you max out efficiency they unlock two different enchant upgrades so if we take a look right here we should have augment and double down double down is significantly better than augment but i mean augment's still decent it's like 500 million to max this out we really don't need to max out augment at all yet um double down though i do actually want to max out because i believe these enchants stay even if you rebirth so we're also going to max out gold rush and bang oh my god bro how could i forget about dragon boost we also max out dragon burst which means we get dragon boost and we can't unfortunately max that one out but we are really really close only like 30 more levels so we just had a huge come up 
in today's video. Our pickaxe is getting there. In the next video, we're going to work on all of these other, like, miscellaneous enchants. We still only have Guardian's Blessing level 100. I know Guardian's Blessing is a really, really good enchant. But I just wanted to get all of these done first, okay? So I am sorry that we are slacking on the pickaxe, but... I think in the next episode, we could easily get a max out pick, especially with all of these uh, enchant upgrades and obviously the max out dragon burst and orb greed. We should be flying through orbs. I don't even have any boosters popped right now, but we're still getting like almost 1 million orbs per dragon burst proc, which is amazing. And we're going to continuously level up our orbs pet. So it's just going to really start to snowball. Also, I do have 800,000 XP. That's just XP that I've straight up grinded. Oh my God, bro. I forgot the Guardian's Blessing enchant actually can win you XP, and I think it kind of adds up to a decent amount, so we've been throwing by not upgrading that enchant, but we'll upgrade it in the next episode for sure. Another thing, bro, we have to get another pickaxe modifier. Whoa! We have two pickaxe modifier slots, bro! I am tweaking! And then we're gonna lock another one at uh, rank 1 million. Okay, guys. We have been throwing this whole season of prisons. That is on me. But we're going to equip this money booster right here. And then bang, that's a beacon. Of course, two beacon modifiers. Thank you very much, bro. Sick. And those are kind of all of our beacon modifiers right now. I do have these mine keys stored up in my PV because I kind of wanted to see if anyone was buying them. So that way I could up my rank just by selling mine keys. We're rank 34k, which is slightly low. You know, it's not great. But if we do like slash plot visit... Eden, thank God he's online, so I don't have to guess his numbers, but is his cell, they're buying regular robot boxes, I assume that's for, um, slash pass, I believe, but right here, they are buying mine keys for 500 trillion money per one, I don't know if that's a great deal for me, I should honestly, like, realistically have way more mine keys, but my key finder enchant is level, where, where is it at, my key finder is level 188, so again, we're gonna sell a stack of these and then how much that was worth 26 ranks jesus christ nope no thank you i will pass bro i might as well buy my own damn keys jesus that's a horrible horrible price but i guess like if i upgrade my key finder we should be getting a ton of these mine keys so maybe it would amount to a certain amount of money but for right now bro we are out of there and yeah guys i do believe that's gonna do it for this episode of prisons if you guys did enjoy make sure you guys drop a like sub if you guys are new Come check out the server with royal.oplegends.com. Server is Bedrock and Java compatible. And in the next episode, we should be making a ton of progress to the pickaxe, possibly maxing this thing out, and then maybe even work on rebirthing. I'm not sure if I want to rebirth yet. But yeah, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next episode of Prisons.